Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hema Subramanian. When it comes to making healthy and tasty snacks, today's recipe is a perfect one. So we are going to make these delicious fruit and nut laddus which are so simple and easy to make. Let's get started and check out the recipe. So first we are going to roast all the nuts. To a pan add half cup of almonds and roast them for about 5 minutes. Once you start seeing these brown spots on the almonds, add half cup of cashew nuts and roast them for another 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, add quarter cup of pistachios. Now these are unsalted pistachios. Roast the pistachios for about 3 minutes along with the almonds and cashew nuts. So once you've roasted these nuts, transfer them to a plate. To the same pan, add half cup of walnuts. Now walnuts are entirely optional. You can always add other nuts of your choice. Roast the walnuts for about 2-3 minutes. Once roasted, add them along with the other nuts and keep it aside. To add some sweetness to the laddus, I am using 25 pitted dates. Remove the seeds, add them to the pan and toast them just for about 2 minutes. Remove the toasted dates and keep it aside. Once the nuts have completely cooled down, transfer all the nuts to a food processor and grind them to a nice coarse mixture. You can also use a mixer jar if you don't have a food processor. Remove the coarsely ground nuts and transfer it to a bowl. To the food processor, add the dates and grind them till they become nice and mushy. Now add the coarsely ground nuts to the food processor Add a teaspoon of cardamom powder at this point and blend everything together till it's all well combined. The laddu mixtures come together beautifully. Now transfer the mixture to a plate. Before we start making the laddus, just apply a little ghee onto your palms. Take a little bit of the dry fruit mixture and start shaping it into nice small laddus. Make all the dry fruit laddus in this manner. You can see how delicious these laddus are and they are absolutely healthy. It's so simple and easy to make. You can store these in an airtight box and they stay fresh for up to 2-3 to three days at room temperature. And if you want to store them longer, you can keep them for up to 1 week in the refrigerator. 